Shadow Striker, traits, what should we do? Let's go. How's it going crew? Hope you're well. So this is the second traits video. If you haven't seen the first traits video, get on over to that because that describes a bit more about traits and what they are, etc, etc. For this one, we're just going to burst straight into it. We're going to go to Shadow Striker and work out what the best traits are to get the most out of our Shadow Striker. So last time we covered our box of box midfielder, didn't we? And we covered Mr. Bassage here and you can see there we've got his movement and channels player instruction, which is amplified now by his movement and channels player trait that we trained him into. So today we're going to look at this role here, the Shadow Striker. So what's your Shadow Striker up to? Your Shadow Striker is going to be one of your main goal scoring and creative threats. He's going to put pressure on the opposition defence, get further forward and hopefully for you make some chances as well. So first up let's grab our victim, let's grab our victim who we're going to teach these traits to, having a little look around. Andre Anderson looks perfect for me, 22 years old, great age to learn traits, can play in this position second favorite role in that position when we click onto shadow striker he's already got some nice mean attributes for it and he is a block of clay with zero player traits what i said in the last traits video when you get a player like andrew anderson who's got no traits it is a long-term project because obviously you can't train three or four at once so you need to pick and choose and slowly build it up i've got to look to get three traits on him and it may take up to a year hopefully a little bit less before you get to it, you need to realise or think about what you want your Shadow Striker to provide your team. For me, whenever I'm playing a Shadow Striker, I want that goal for it, but I also want a creative edge as well. So I'm trying to hybrid an advanced playmaker with an attacking midfielder on attack, bringing him into a Shadow Striker so he's further forward. So I need to think about all those three elements. So once we've had a think about what we want our role to do, my Shadow Striker, I want him to get further forward, backing up those strikers as much as possible, Provide them a goal for it by beating the offside trap and the creative force of trying killer balls. This is not the exhaustive list. This is just the way I want my Shadow Striker to play. So these are the traits I'm going to target. So we begin. We begin the trait learning process. And the earliest you can do this, the better. You can see in the top corner there, the date is the 19th of July 2021. In a new save, identify what you want to do and go for it. So up to development tab, into training down to discuss new traits we've got a block of clay here he's got no traits so we need to prioritize i need my shadow striker further forward so we're going to go into attacking movement training and start coaching andre anderson to get forward whenever possible coach agrees he's happy with the attribute level he's off and rolling so my man andre anderson he's away starting to learn his trait but it will take a little bit of time so you need to be patient and just keep a watch on it. Sometimes it happens really fast, sometimes it can take a little bit longer. Like I said in the last video, ideal scenario is to get someone of a good age who's already got a couple of those traits already, and you can simply add one or two to that. We touched on get further forward and why I want to use it. What about the other two? So beats the offside trap, sounds simple, but if you look at it into detail, you might understand why I want it more. Now for this, I'll use Chirita Mobile, who has loads of traits that are ideal for where he plays. And you know, he'd probably be a pretty good shadow striker. So we go to play traits down here, you can see. If I just hover over, likes to beat offside trap, you can see what the game says. Increases the frequency with which a player will look to make runs in behind the defence. So he's going to do the forward run in behind the defence more often. And that's what I want my shadow striker to do. Now I'm trying to make my perfect player in that role. I want a hybrid of a playmaker, an attacking midfielder and a striker all in one beautiful bundle. So with those other two I've got, now I want a bit of a creative force tries killer balls often is perfect you think of the time he's going to get in this position right he's gonna have two strikers there ahead of him he's gonna have onrushing midfielders he's gonna have wing backs if we can get a killer ball option in there as well we are absolutely laughing Luis alberto what a player he is by the way tries killer balls more often when we hover it exactly what it says on the tin increases the frequency of which a player will attempt through balls that's what i want from that number 10 position so Andre Anderson is off and running, but remember that can take up to a year to get all three of those traits in to find our perfect number 10. If you haven't got the patience or you need someone to go alongside that, a great option is to find a player who's already got some in place in the transfer market and here's how. So we'll go over to the player search screen, there we go. Now we want our player to play in that number 10 role, so obviously already players are getting filtered. Now if we go to add condition and for this I'll just remove my face. 
click on our condition and then this will come up go to general and you can search by player trait so deciding which player trait you want to use which is most important to you let's say we want to get gets forward whenever possible we'll ping that on and instantly we've got a little shortlist now of players who've already got that trait so you can swoop in get that player bought he's already got one of the traits you want then you can add another trait to it and he's instantly you've got a leg up then he's going to get two traits that little bit quicker such as Kevin Agudelo, good age, he's already got the get forward wherever possible trait. Here's another little nugget for you, you can see he's got shoots with power. Now if we don't want shoots with power, we can get that out of his playing game. That's right, you can remove traits as well. This is one that I'll be doing a whole new video on, but as a sneak preview, say we've got a player we really like, such as Sakagni, and he's got a whole load of traits we don't like. Maybe I want to play him in this role like the player I've just described, but he dwells on the ball too often and that's not what I need. I don't need a player dwelling on the ball when I'm trying for fast transitions. So just like we did with traits, we go up to training, discuss new trait, general, and we'll go to technique training. And you can see, if we come down here a little bit, I would like to start coaching Matea to stop taking too much time on the ball. Press that, and we're going to get that out of his system. Goes to red, and he's playing removed. Just like we learn a trait, we can get one removed as well. So there are all sorts of ways to make your ideal player that little bit better, either by adding perfect traits or removing them. Hope you enjoyed number two of the traits videos. We're going to keep this going. So roles that you want covered, hit them down below. I know a lot of you want Mazalas. We will be getting onto that next. But anymore, bang them down below and I'll get onto it.